Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grizzly here. Welcome back to episode 6 of Attack of the B-Team. So, a lot of stuff has happened since the last episode. I did about three streams, I think. <clears throat> Built some pretty neat stuff. So, as you guys can see, there's this. Mm-hmm. What's this? It's ice bricks and... Lime stained glass. That is a mob conveyor belt. Specifically, villagers. That is the 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 reason for that. Um, because villagers can give me emeralds and good gear from that. Okay. Uh, what else? Today, we're going to be messing around <clears throat> with this auto spawner in combination with a grinder and power. So, one thing that I did um, that I'm not sure if you guys are going to be happy about uh, I built a power supply uh, or power creator, I guess would be the correct term. So, you guys remember the aquarium. Uh, the fish spawned, as you can see, they're running around in there. But this is the new, um, new improvement for this. This is my power supply area. Uh, it's made by Jsit, J S I T, on YouTube. Um, he's extremely helpful. Oh my goodness! Sit down my friends oh whoa, whoa. these guys are smart uh, but anyways okay uh, basically what it is <clears throat> is a auto tree farm um, on steroids so oh hello Stop, please. As you can see, perfect example. There's a tree, just grew, just got chopped down by the harvester, and it was planted by this planter. Basically, what happens, the tree gets planted, it gets harvested. In here, everything that harvests goes, which then, in, in an empty hand, I think I need to do, you can see that the whitelist is oak wood, so only oak wood will go this way. Oak wood will be put into this redstone furnace, which is being powered, will be cooked into charcoal, which will then be put into this chest. In here, never mind, you don't need to see that. It pushes out the charcoal into steam dynamos, which are getting water from a aqueous accumulator, which is just under there pumping in water which and splits it up with this this is being split um, which this actually powers the whole system but this uh, powers I have three leadstone energy okay orange needs to be on top I need to remember that nope there we go three leadstone energy cells which are giving s power to the rest of my base. Now, I only have one machine that actually uses this power, which is this redstone. I have a redstone furnace upstairs. But this is the just of the farm. You guys can go watch Jsit's video. It's um, set it and forget it power. Uh, it's quite easy to make. This uh, didn't take that long to make. So, uh, we can head up here now. Um, this is the this is where the leadstone is running as you can see this is uh, the redstone furnace which is getting all its power which is running up just right there um, it's a really slick setup uh, but now what we need to do is we need to wire run this wire it's early there's one lower which is just under here through here all the way under here up this tree through the mountain 
back here to this grinder. There's also going to be the auto spawner right here, which is in this 5x5 five five area that the grinder will kill. These conveyor belts, um, I'm going to have temporary shutoff valve things. They can be, I just figured out they can be turned on and off by redstone. And I'm getting my glue from horses that I grab in a safari net and bring over here. So I do need to build some more of these. I believe conveyor belts is just three glue I need. Conveyor. Conveyor belt, three rubber bars, which is one of those. Yeah, gives you 16, so we can make a couple more of these. But, um, pretty cool, those will be done really fast now. But, <clears throat> So yeah, that's the gist of the farm. So basically what it's going to do is I'm going to have to start out with an XP extractor, which I'll get off camera as it's a long and painful thing um, with rubber and rubber sheets and plastic sheets and all that stuff. But, sorry about that, just went quiet there. Um, and then you grab XP, put it in there, and you will... To, sorry, I, uh, you will then, you basically then just get uh, mobs, that's the word, mobs. Uh, so it's a really good way, one you can turn this into a liquid XP uh, farm, which I have no use for at the moment, because I don't even know like I'm pretty sure you can enchant these tools I think so I wouldn't see why you couldn't um, but anyways so that's so that's where that's gonna go so that's gonna go like that it's pushing it all this way and then this 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 um, so I need to basically fill this entire room with these uh, so it doesn't allow the mobs to go anywhere else other than ah crap the one thing that I dislike about these is you can't grab items while they're moving on it which I mean I'm sure it has its bonuses as well but for sure has its negatives but yeah I do uh, I've been doing a lot of work on streams recently oh you're Mm -hmm. I'm one short. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitch. Uh, the Grizzly Cave HD is the Twitch username. And oh, I hope I can get three things of glue balls out of this. Oh, that's gonna suck if I can't. I gotta go run and get a horse for one stinking conveyor belt. There we go. Perfect. Um. But yeah, so eventually I'm going to be changing this into a liquid XP farm as well. But right now I don't have a need for it. I don't know what to use it for or anything like that. So it's kind of redundant for me to make it right now. I don't, I don't need it, so I'm not going to make it. Now these farms, they use mob essence. So there has to be a equal balance of how much it uses and how much it makes. Pretty sure Jason's going to cover that in his video. I haven't finished watching it right now. I, all I've seen is the basic just of the farm. So now with this, uh, I'm going to go uh, ahead and run the wires up through this tree. Uh, I think that's going to be a really cool way for me to hide these wires. Um, down let's go across here okay so that's gonna go there this is this is the power unit right here this is the power house all this cool stuff uh, oh no 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 oh no mind that doesn't do anything oh it's gonna be a pain to wire I'm already disliking it so I'm sure you guys are too so I'm gonna go ahead 
finish doing all this fancy smancy wiring. Not really that fancy, but I'll go finish this wiring and I'll get back to you guys once I've completed it. Okay guys, so this all has been set up minus a couple things. So I carried this out this direction. I left this uncovered so you guys can see up here through the base of the tree. You guys can see right there, that's where it turns. And then it comes out over here and down. So now the next part we need is a little bit more of this. I need to make, oh, this is so tedious to make, but it's not that bad anymore. Um, how much do I have? We're going to quickly uh, just go ahead and patch this in. Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys what it what it looked like and where it was going, I guess. Like that. There we go. Can't even tell. Okay, so... Over here, we need 12 redstone. I have no idea how much I'm going... Oh, crap, I need one more ingot. I have to get a freaking ingot mold. So you use the block. So this, because for this grinder, I believe this is gonna have to be shut off. Like that's. Whoa, 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 whoa! You're just wasting energy. Oh, I think the animation continues. So if we do that, the auto goes down. Yeah. Okay. So this stuff can all go off, but those can stay on, which is good. So I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by one, two, three, six, seven. So about a stack of redstone and a lever. So I have a lever there. I also made two more machines, a pulverizer and an induction smelter because I was realizing I have no way to get um, like hardened glass and stuff, so I kind of wanted that stuff. So that's why I did that. Um, they weren't that hard to make, just machine frames, which are so awful to make. They're, they're my least favorite thing in thermal expansion to make machine frames. They're like four glass, one gold, and four iron, but I just hate making them for some reason. Okay, so right up from here, coal. Let's see. I believe I can just go, yep, yeah, right there. Just like that. Now, we can go back over here, and that a little auto spawner has been in there for about three episodes actually I think very long time it's been in there um, so basically I'll show you the, the GUI of this in a momento so as you can see you go in here you can put the safari net of what it is in there Does that do anything? I don't know. I think that's fine. It's not going to be wasting energy until it's actually spawning. But it uses this energy. You put it in, you can do spawn exact if you want it to be exactly the same thing. Or you don't have to if you don't want it to be the exact same. Which I don't think I do want it to be, to be honest. I don't know. Crap. No. Uh, well done, the red, the red of awesomeness. <sighs> okay, let's. Oh, come on! I need that. Thank you. I didn't really need that, but okay. So let's grab forty-eight redstone. Is what I should need. So forty-eight. 
eight. That should be good. I hope my whole theory that this is going to work is based off of the fact that if I do this, I'm going to snatch that lever. Oh, crap. Well, well, crap. That idea doesn't work anymore. I wanted the idea to be I could turn them on and off whenever I wanted to use the grinder to get mob essence or that kind of stuff, but I can't now. Do I have any fluid ducts on me? I have items. Item ducts we'll just do out the back here because I don't really care too much about what. Uh, Got it. Um, so yeah, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna look into a. I have another idea. Uh, it's this. It's just like a, a drawbridge. Tinker's alloy. How do you make bronze? I bet you it's in that book. Um. Materials in you, mighty smelting. Copper and tin, three copper, one tin. Okay, so we'll do tin, we'll grab however much we have. Um, we'll do five. And we'll do 15, so then we get the correct ratio there. So I have no idea how this is going to work now. I'm going to go ahead and cut here. I'm going to plan something. I'm going to try a drawbridge that drops fences down to not allow mobs to run through. Um... There we go. So that should work, I think, um, but I'll be back. Okay, so I finished it. It took no time at all, actually, to finish that. See, that's all it is, is bronze, aluminum, blank cast, dispenser, and redstone. So if this works, which I hope it will, um, we got the 5x5, five five, so we got two on this side, two, and then here. So this block is where this can go like so um, now this is what I don't know what to do that's my idea maybe I don't know I have not a clue about this thing um, can you configure it to go out and out and down Um, it does the same thing. Um, I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna figure this out. Okay, guys. So apparently, I was doing it the wrong way. So you actually need uh, as many as like you want, kind of thing. I didn't know that. I thought maybe one would spread out, but now that I know, it makes sense. So as you can see, I can go ahead and flip this lever. This drops down, and I can use this as a grinder. It'll push them to here, and a five by five, one, two, three, four, five. This area can be harvested from the sky. Now, as you can see, that's there. So, I keep forgetting to do this. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to um, make an XP extractor because that's going to take a long time collecting horses, bringing them back here, putting them in the smeltery, all that stuff. But that'll soon be solved as soon as we get this thing going, which will be fun. So I hope that this will work the way I want it to. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so 
it's all been set up. I have the whole bunch of these things set up, just portable tanks and some fluid ducts. Um, so now I got this chest set up here. We're gonna do this XP extractor. I have a bucket here, so we're gonna go pull it all the way back. There we go. It takes one level. Mob essence bucket. Now we're gonna do. I put that in there and see it's got mob essence. Now I have this villager net reusable, and we're gonna do no. So it's gonna idle down. Hopefully this works. Yep. Yeah, it is. But they're not dying. Oh, this is charging down on the idle. And work. No. One, two, three, five. I think they're too far. No, that doesn't make sense. Why isn't the grinder working, though? Okay, well, we'll try this. Let's see how this works. <laughs> how cool is that? And take a look. Liquefied emerald right there, right at the bottom. Now I'm confused on why this grinder won't work. I'm gonna put those down. Mm. My only guess is to take these away and try, but that's gonna be a pain to set up every time. I guess it won't really be every time I can get a stash of mob essence set up, I guess, and then see, maybe that'll, maybe that'll make it work. I need to go over here now, but yeah, so that works now, that's, I don't want it to, well, do I got my, yep, got him, okay. So, as you can see, I'm also playing as a bird now, not a not a bat. So let's block that and that. We'll just do that. They can't. Now they can't get out. Ooh, whoa. Okay. So, no mob presence in there yet. Grinder, you working? Why? There's villagers here, like... I keep doing that, I'm sorry. Um... Hmm. So, I'm gonna figure that out. Okay, so it ignores it. Um, it ignores villagers, which kind of sucks, but it'll be good for uh, emeralds. We'll just do that. It's creating some of those. Um, now. I want to try. Whoa. Okay. That's a problem. Thank you, villager. No. There we 
There we go. That should fix it. Now if we go over here. Half an emerald so far. That's I mean, it's sure it's not the fastest way, but it is a way to get them. So what we're gonna do? What we're gonna try? What animals could we just to get mob essence from? Like a sheep. Sheep, maybe if we can. First animal we'll find. What is grab um yeah zombies are good i can get monster jerky from them thank you okay now nah. awesome oh whoa, 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 whoa. nope I have to put a fence in this. That's for sure. Out of mob essence? Okay. Now. Let's try this. This might work, it might not. Also, hopefully it will. Hmm. Okay. Idle. Please work. Awesome. But it doesn't grab them. Um. It's also not getting mob essence from them. Let's see, like it's not even collecting it, is it? Oh, it is. Never mind. No, the circle's broken. Dang, I. We're not getting enough energy here, though. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Oh, it's got. Oh, okay, that's loaded with power. It's just the. Uh, doesn't have enough internal storage, I think, is part of it. Could probably do a buffer with one of those, but. Okay, so that's going to be it. There we go. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please go ahead and leave a like. Go ahead and comment something and subscribe. Whatever. I think it uses more than it's actually going to make, but... Okay, so see you guys later.